In this video, we are going to look at the git ref log, also known as git's undo button. This is how to recover when you've really messed things up in your local repo. Maybe you rebased on the wrong branch, or you botched a merge conflict resolution, or you flat out deleted a commit. All of these things can be really hard, or even impossible, to recover from manually, and it would be nice if you could just turn back the clock to before you made the mistake. Well, it turns out, you can. We're going to look at a simple example, but this method should work for almost anything that you can do in Git. So let's say that we are working on a super important feature, and we've got it committed here, but we haven't pushed it to Garrett yet, so this is the only copy of this commit that exists anywhere. And then maybe we are going through our command history, and we accidentally stop on the wrong command and do a git reset. Uh-oh, our commit is gone. Where did it go? How do we find it? not real obvious just from looking around here. Well, let's say that we don't know the commit ID. In this case, we could go back up and look at it in the previous log output, but pretend we don't, and be really happy that Git remembers everything. So to find it out, we just take a look at the Git ref log, and you can see the ref log is a history of every action taken on the repo since it was cloned. So here we can see we have our reset, and that's the thing that we want to undo. So we will go back to the previous commit before that, and that's a commit ID. And we'll just go ahead and do another git reset to that ID. And now you can see our super important feature is back, just like it was never gone. Alternatively, there may be times where you want to check out the previous ref to a new branch instead of the current one. Maybe it was only partially wrong and you want to keep around some of the bits for reference. This is also possible. So let's say that we do our mistaken reset again. And we will take another look at the ref log. But this time, instead of looking for the commit ID, we're actually just going to grab this reference here. And we will go back and do a git checkout on that reference. And now you can see we have our commit back, and we can put it in a new branch. And now we have our feature back, and it's on a different branch than the one where we had screwed up. This is hopefully not something you'll have to use frequently, but it can be an absolute lifesaver when you do need it. That's all for this demo. Thanks for watching.